Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you a few different ways to really make eyes pop using some blend modes and selective sharpening in Photoshop. Now the first one is fairly simple and so what I'm going to do is I've got my background layer I'm going to duplicate that so the shortcut is Command J. Okay and now I'm working uh, non-destructively on this and now I'm going to come in and go down to filter other high pass all right now I'm going to move the radius slider it's basically the eyes that I want to sharpen so I'm going to move that across what what you don't want to have is where you've got this uh, the radius is too broad and you've got this sort of uh, almost like ghosting or bad HDR going on so you kind of and it will depend on the file size but you kind of want to be around three pixels two pixels something like that so we're just picking up an edge detail on the finer areas of the image okay so and if this is getting all too much don't worry I will create an action that you can simply download and it does all these steps for you all right so we'll go to around 3.5 should be good enough hit OK and now I'm going to change my blend mode to overlay and we can see let's have a look come back in in the before and after we have sharpened up the eyes but we've also sharpened up a lot of other areas that probably don't need sharpening like the skin tone you're going to enhance all the flaws unless you're going for that look where you want lots of character in your image but in this case I just want to sharpen the uh, eyeballs here a little bit and some of the little eyelash hair so what I'm going to do is add a layer mask so it's this little icon here and now I'm going to hide it which hides the action that I've just created so everything that I've the sharpening that I've just added to this image it's going to hide it by hitting command I so now my layer mask is black and if I want to reveal what's underneath the areas that I've sharpened all I need to do is make sure that white is my foreground color and I've got a nice soft brush we'll bring the flow down to about 10 percent and keep the opacity at a hundred percent and I'm just going to come in and brush over the eyeball with white and if I toggle on and off you can see what's happening I'm just sharpening that selected area which is really handy if you just want to add a little bit of pop to the eyes and really bring out the detail of the the eyes there and I also like to go around the eyelashes all right and if you want you can increase the flow a little bit more and really bring that out and you can see that you're picking up all that beautiful detail there you can keep going over that all right so that's the first way and that's fairly subtle it just adds a little pop a little bit more texture there so I'm going to call this overlay okay and I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to repeat that so command J and just show you another technique so again filter other high pass I've got my radius set to 3.6 I hit OK I'm going to create a layer mask I'm going to now change my blend mode not to overlay but to linear light now this as a blend mode is actually a much harder harder edge high contrast blend mode but have a look at what it does to the eyes not so great on the rest of the skin tone bit of overkill but pretty impressive 
on the eyes. So again, I'm going to hide that mask and just come in, make sure I've got my brush selected, foreground color is white, blend mode normal, opacity 100% and I've brought my flow up a little bit higher and I'm just going to come in and brush. And look how beautiful that is. Just makes them pop and you can see all the texture and all the little flecks in the eyes and if you want you can bring out the detail of the eyelashes as well it's probably a bit overkill sometimes I like to do the areas of the eyebrows as well so and then you can control how strong that is by just using the opacity slider all right so I quite like it quite strong, but I think that is overkill under there. It's so obvious. So I'm going to actually remove that. So anything I don't like, I just change my foreground color to black and black hides what I've just done. So I'll just get rid of that and get rid of that there. All right, so that is using the blend mode of linear light with a high pass filter there. So that I think that looks really cool. There's the linear light and that is the overlay. Overlay a lot more conservative. Linear light uh, really cool but like a bit more detailed there. All right so I'm going to turn those both off and I'm going to show you a final way and this is kind of uh, the lazy way to do it. Now, if you're editing images and maybe you're sending them out as proofs to your portrait clients and you just want to do like you might be sending out 20 images and you just want to spend five minutes on each image just to give the skin a quick clean up and make the eyes sparkle a little bit and just a quick edit and this will is, is a good idea because if you're sending out proofs that look amazing, the likelihood of then selling images uh, after uh, is going to increase. So always try and send your images out to look as beautiful as possible, but also be aware that you, you don't want to be spending uh, days and days and days uh, on them. So try and work out a way to do a quick edit and this is a really good way to do like a basic edit if you just want to send proofs out. So there is this little uh, tool here, the sharpen tool. It's been in Photoshop forever and a day and it used to be really shite. So it used to sharpen uh, images in such a way that was just like really rough and heavy handed and it never looked good. I rarely, I, I didn't use it for that reason. But the good news is Photoshop have improved it. And so what you can do is if you just click on that icon, the little uh, triangle there, again, nice soft brush, blend mode normal, and you can play around with the strength, but I like around 35% is good to use. Make sure you've got sample all layers selected and make sure you've added a new empty layer to do this on. So it's that little icon there and I've created the new empty layer and I'm just going to call this sharpen tool. Okay, watch what happens. It's quite beautiful and it's so quick. And watch what happens in, in the, the preview window. It's basically it where it's sharpening you can actually see like if you if I sharpen the entire eye I would end up getting the entire eye in that window so I'll do both eyes have a look at that and I can drop my strength and maybe to like 10% and come in and just go over the eyebrows there and if I wanted to I could just do the eyelashes And I think that looks pretty cool. If you think it's overkill, you can just come back and just knock back the opacity. 
but I think it's a very handy tool when you want to do a quick edit of the eyes and I think it looks fantastic. So again, I just want to show you the difference. So we've got the first one, which is the high pass using linear light as a blend mode. The next one is using the high pass filter with uh, overlay as a blend mode, much softer. And finally, we've got the sharpen tool on an empty layer, bang. There you go. So that's uh, three ways to sharpen eyes using Photoshop. And I'll provide these as a download for you next month.